Hey everybody, welcome back. Now today is October 10th and uh, if you hadn't noticed or caught that I did a couple live streams earlier on Facebook and YouTube, you can catch those uh, on those uh, platforms uh, anytime. Feel free to watch those back if you would. And uh, today our reading is going to go a little bit like this. Now, we've had a little bit of a theme going on in our recovery reading, or at least our thought for the day, because it's been a lot of questions, a lot of thought-provoking questions, and there's more, so get this. So when new members come into uh, my recovery group, do I make a special effort to make them feel at home? Do I put myself out to listen to them, even if their ideas of recovery are vague? Do I make it a habit to talk to all new members of myself, or do I often leave that to somebody else? I may not be able to help them, but then again, it may be just something that I might say that would put them on the right track. So when I see any member sitting alone, do I put myself out there to be nice to them, or do I stay amongst my own special group of friends and leave them out in the cold? Some pretty good valid questions. So are all new AAs my responsibility? New members, new people? They are. Meditation for the day. You are God's servant. Serve him cheerfully and readily. Nobody likes a servant who avoids extra work, who complains about being called from one task to do less the enjoyable one. A master would feel that he was being ill-served by such a servant. But is that not how you so often serve God, though? You see, view your day's work in His light. Try to do your day's work in the way you believe God wants you to do it. Never shriek, shirking any responsibility, you know, side-skirting any responsibility, and often going out of your way to be of service. Amen. That's where it's at. That's what we need to do. So I pray that I may be a good servant today, and I pray that I may be willing to go out of my way to be of service. Now, if we jump over into our Al-Anon book, which we often do, I don't read it every day on here, but I have to share these ones in early October because they are just so good. So today, October 10th, is this in our Al-Anon book. Without faith in a power greater than ourselves, I am like a storm-tossed ship without a rudder. I am flung from one trouble to the other. However bravely I may battle the elements, my own strength and wisdom are not enough. All of us need something to cling to with absolute confidence. So if I have been disillusioned by disappointments or I have been let down by someone I trusted, it makes me feel as though I were alone and vulnerable in this hostile world. I will not deprive myself of God's help and his guidance. I see too that this work in the program, in Al-Anon even, as we share knowledge, courage, and hope with each other. Confidence and dignity are restored to us by the knowledge that we are God's children. And in him we are safe. Amen. So today's reminder is this. If my faith has been dimmed by disappointment, I can begin to regain it by clinging to a spiritual idea like the one expressed in the serenity prayer, which we spoke about today on our live streams. Amen. I love how God works. This living philosophy will give me a secure foundation of faith. So for by we walk by faith, not by sight. And that's in 2 Corinthians. Get some! Love you guys. Catch you on the next one.